Hello, so today I'm taking a look at a new game from Izugi. Um, this is called uh, Lucky Seven and it is being streamed from their Indian live casino studio which is actually based in Bucharest in Romania. So it's a uh, sectioned off area of, uh, of the, the main studio floor um, that's got all their Indian uh, related games. So this game, Lucky Seven, is an eight deck card game. Um, it's sort of similar to High Low if you've ever played that sort of game. But um, what you're betting on is basically whether the next card dealt is going to be above seven or below seven. So they call it seven up or seven down. So it's really quite straightforward this game. So as you can see there, a jack's just been dealt and it's a seven, what you call a seven up. So in terms of betting, you just bet on one of the positions. Uh, we'll, we'll bet on this one just for argument's sake. So I'm betting on the next card being uh, greater than seven. Now, if the dealer dealt a seven, then I would get half of my bet returned and it's only on that bet. Obviously, if I bet on the, the seven, then I get paid um, eight to one. So there you see, I uh, won even money um, and I doubled my bet. Now, other bets available, there are side bets, but these side bets can be played without placing a main bet, which is really quite good. <laughs> So I quite like that uh, capability. So I'm just betting that the next card is going to be red. And I just randomly placed that bet just to really to show you uh, that it's possible. There, it's black and I lost. So let's have a, just a quick run through what we've got in the playing interface. So you've seen the game, it's that simple. So let's see what we've got. Well, down here on the left-hand side of the screen, we've got a range of statistics. Now the stats show um, the results of each of the uh, turns of the cards. So it shows the value of the card and also the color. And right from the beginning of the shoe. So this builds as the, as the shoe is, uh, as, it, as it's gone through. As I said, it's an eight deck shoe. They actually have the cutting card about uh, one deck towards the end. So when it gets there, they reshuffle the, the deck and, uh, and put it back into play. Uh, they flip the first card and then they do, uh, they then burn the value of that card so they take the next number of cards off the top of the deck and then they start uh, dealing from the shoe. Um, other statistics, they show what uh, proportion of the um, hands have come out seven up or seven down. As you can see, it's a fairly even spread as you would expect in a, in a game like this. Uh, same with, um, I was gonna say, same with red, black. You can see there's been slightly more black uh, cards come out than red, which is a good indication really if you're betting on those, actually it might be time to start betting on red rather than black and odd evens again you can see there's been more odds at 58% and 42% um, evens so as the shoe is dealt you get a much better idea of what's left so if you were almost card counting you could sort of work out what cards were available left in the in the uh, in the shoe and adjust your betting accordingly but the stats here help you in some respect so you know an even and black sorry yeah even and red would be uh, two good um, bets perhaps to place if you were just placing those so I'm going to place those I know we just had a red there so even and a red as you can see the payout odds are all slightly different um, and that's really done not because the cards are going to come out um, balanced one way or the other because it's a fairly 50-50 split on this game it's because the, the card game has to make some uh, money so they have to have an RTP on it so this is the way that they uh, they generate the RTP so you see I had an even win there at even money but I lost the uh, the red so I'm going to place that again so if we just have a quick look at the RTP I'll go into the game info and just uh, show you the uh, RTP. It's pretty poor to be perfectly honest with you, um, as games go. Uh, the main bet only pays out 92% or 92.31% and that's the same with the even money bet. So it's not brilliant. Um, the best uh, payout is actually on the odds or the best RTP I should say is 96.92%. And you've got 95% on red, black. Now these are obviously returns to players over hundreds of thousands of hands. 
but it gives you an indication of you know the volatility of the game and also um, you know what sort of return you can expect which actually is not that brilliant um, I would say so if I was gonna play this game I wouldn't be really playing it long I would tend to play when the shoe is more developed I wouldn't play early in the shoe I play later in the shoe so I can see sort of what the stats are doing um, that's my my obviously my, my personal preference so you can see red is uh, coming up let's have a, another bet on red we'll just do red this time So a quick note about the studio, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is actually in uh, Romania, the, the studio, Zubi got a large studio there, um, and they've got all their Indian games, so Andahar, Bahar, Team Patty, Bet on Team Patty, and Namaste Roulette, which you can see in the uh, left hand, top left hand corner of the screen as well. Um, it's all got Indian styling. Um, the dealers aren't Indian, I think there may be one or two that I've seen, but mostly are um, European uh, type dealers all speaking English. Okay, what else can I tell you about this game? You know, it, it, it's so straightforward and so simple. Um, <laughs> there's not a lot to say about it. So let's have a go with seven down. Okay. Let's go for a low card. And quite helpfully, they show you in the stats where the sevens have come out. So there's actually 32 sevens in an eight deck shoe. And we've had one, two, three, four. It's going to see four. And we're not yet halfway through. So let's have a go on uh, the sevens. I'm going to do a seven up as well. So if you want to time your... Sorry, there's one over here. Yeah. If you want to time when you, you place your seven bet, then it's a good idea to sort of work out the probability of when it's likely to occur based on the average spread throughout a uh, throughout the deck. Nothing really more on this playing interface. Obviously, I'm playing on desktop, but this is uh, optimized for mobile. And what I would say, just as a sort of point of interest, the dealer's heads out the top of the screen. It'd be nice if she just lowered her chair slightly so we could just get her full in view and what do we have there so we have nine so I'm gonna go seven down there and I'll do a red as well we haven't had many reds yet with three blues in the last three hands so let's see if we can get a down and red What was I saying about sevens? And I stopped betting on that. So that's a kick in the pants for me. Right, okay. So again, down and red I'm going to go. We've got 50% of our stake returned when that seven was, was dealt. Oh, looks like we're keeping the dealer up. Oh my good God, another seven. What's wrong with me? You identify this and then <laughs> you don't go with it. Well, I'm, there is no way there's going to be three sevens in a row. Is there? God, let's put a 10 on there just to make sure. Go on, prove me wrong. So I lost all three bets anyway. Okay, so that is uh, Live Lucky 7 from Azugi. Um, you'll find it at um, all Azugi live casinos. Check the description. You'll find a link to the review where there's a list of casinos where you'll be able to play this. Uh, please um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to it before. I do regular review videos. Uh, they're not big win videos. They're more about the game and just explaining how to play it and where you can play it. Um, and if you've liked this video do like it if you've got any comments please leave some comments quite like to interact with people that watch my videos so you know just drop a comment and i'll uh, 
Can I get into a discussion with you? Okay, so uh, that's Elute Kazugi Live Lucky 7. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.